Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty. Today, the Jacksonville Dolphins, 14th in the country, are traveling to take on SEC foe Arkansas Pine Bluff. They are 2-3 and three on the season, and they have some young talent that we're going to be taking a look at here. Michael Jackson, freshman halfback, 420 yards on the season, five touchdowns for the Golden Lions, and a couple of decent receivers as well, as we'll see here in a moment. But six fumbles for Michael Jackson. And the upcoming uh, head coach quote from Marvin Joseph has so many <laughs> Michael Jackson references. I'm not even going to read the quote. It's just going to be up on the screen. And I'm going to let you guys just enjoy how great it is. <laughs> he fits so many into one little sentence here. My goodness. All of the quotes are capitalized. Those are the Michael Jackson uh, references. I'm sure he took about an hour to come up with this, but I love it, and I appreciate the effort from head coach Marvin Joseph. Taking a look at the Dolphins roster, uh, a lot of sophomores here, only a few freshmen, mostly on the defensive line, um, but up-and-coming team for sure. Next season, I think they're going to be a title contender. This year, they do have some work to do still, but here's some players on the top 10 lists for the EFL prospect pool. Mr. Highlight, number two receiver. Hard to believe that he's just number two, but Reinhard Erwandowski has been an absolute stud. And here is Christian Hart getting the catch, his first of the ball game. Seven yard reception from him. Hines, play action, left side. And there's Highlight making his first catch of the ball game. He has 15 catches on the season now, 74 for his career. Hines pressured and sacked. Immediate pressure from Lamb, the right end. That's his first tackle of the ball game. A loss of seven yards for the Dolphins. Nice to try to throw it again here. Hines hit as he throws, finds highlight, spins a man out, jukes another man out, and highlight almost picks up the first down on third and 17. What an effort. It is fourth and inches, though. The Dolphins are going to go for it. And Hines on the option. He is denied. Absolutely lit up in the backfield. And the Golden Lions get a huge stop against the potent Dolphins offense. There's Zane Williams, number three linebacker in the EFL prospect pool, and the top two defensive backs are Allen Davidson and Marcus Pedersen. Chris Numa felt some type of way, but Allen Davidson and Marcus Pedersen have just been so great, and obviously Chris Numa has as well. There's a deflection which leads to an interception from Walters and a fumble recovered by Malik Bean. But as far as the defensive backs, I feel like Allen Davidson is the most well-rounded corner that we have so far. And here is Highlight doing a back juke, and he's gone! Mr. Highlight with a successful back juke. We don't see that very often. Oh my goodness. But anyways, back to Allen Davidson. Uh, he can do it all. He, he's a great tackler. Uh, he forces fumbles. He recovers them. And obviously, he has some interceptions in his career. Ten leading into this ball game, and he has four defensive touchdowns in his career. I'm bluff, looking to throw deep. Jones has it past the 45-yard line. Very nice play from the quarterback. Slaughter from Michael Jackson, and this run is a bit of a thriller. And he gets the first down inside the 40-yard line. Second down and ten. Now Slaughter hit as he throws. He's picked off. Allen Davidson right on cue. I was just talking about him. And he gets it up to the 34-yard line. That's his third pick of the season, 11th for his career. And he's taking a bow, folks. This is a big SEC matchup. Dolphins looking to win the SEC yet again. They just barely won it last season. Uh, they had a rough start to their inaugural season here in the FCS Dynasty. But they finished strong. Beat Tennessee State for the SEC title. And here's Tyler Matthews, the fullback with a nice juke move. Picks up the first down. And that is Matthews' fifth catch of the season. Hines looking to throw again. Pressured and evades the defender. He's still going past midfield. Past the 40. Jukes a man out inside the 20. Michael Hines is gone. Oh, my goodness. All the way down to the one-yard line. It looked like he reached over the line, but they don't give it to him. First and goal from the one. What a run from Michael Hines, folks. First and goal, Hines. Play action, and this time he does punch it into the end zone. Dolphins extend their lead to 14-0. Yeah. 
Final play of the first quarter. Slaughter right side. He's picked off again. This is Pedersen. And he's inside the 30. Pedersen inside the 20 and down to the 19-yard line. That's his first pick of the season. And he gets double digits for his career. That is number 10. Him and Allen Davidson, just such a great duo. And we cannot forget about Malik Dean, who also has seven picks in his career. Here's Jukes McGee diving out of bounds at the three-yard line. Play action again from Hines, and he finds highlight, breaking a tackle. And that is the second touchdown pass of the ballgame for Hines. And the Golden Lions almost throw another pick here. Pedersen was right in the vicinity. Quick three and out from Arkansas Pine Bluff. Hines is going to be sacked again. And he's going to lose eight yards on the play. So back-to-back -back three and outs here for both teams. They still on top, 21-0. And this pass is picked off. Malik Bean has his eighth of his career. And they basically threw it right to him. I don't know what the Golden Lions are doing on that play. Halfback pass. There was nobody, and I mean nobody, in the vicinity of that pass from the Golden Lions. Hines to the end zone. Highlight has another touchdown catch today. Look at this throw and catch. Just an absolute beauty. And there's the thumbnail for the video. Slaughter over the middle. Bullocks has the first down. Nice completion. That's the third first down of the game for Arkansas Pine Bluff. High snap for Slaughter. And he's pressured and he is sacked. Who got him? And I'm not seeing a number here. 46, I believe that is Frank Frazier. And if it is, that is going to be his second sack of the season. Here's McGee. Left side spins a man out. Gets the first down. And for some reason, I do not have the roster for the Dolphins in front of me. So that's why I'm confusing the defensive lineman. But here is Haston on an interception from Hines. His seventh pick of the season. 25th for his career now. Just not a good pass. And the Golden Lions are now in great field position. Howard makes the man miss, and Pedersen brings him down. But that is a first down and goal from the seven-yard line now. Nice drive here after the interception. Slaughter looking to throw right side, and it's caught by Bullocks for the touchdown. And that was Adams, the non-subscriber right cornerback on coverage. J.U. desperately needs a number two corner. It'll be on the other side of Allen Davidson. Here's Deshaun Harris on the kick return up past midfield. Deshaun Harris, he's gone. Touchdown, Dolphins. What a return, 99 yards. And the Pine Bluff band just finished playing. <laughs> and that Jacksonville starts playing immediately afterwards. Nice run here for Michael Jackson. 40 yards on the ground today for the Golden Lions. Slaughter to throw, pressured, finds Bryant close to the marker. They mark him short by a yard. Slaughter on fire, play action. Left side, man open is Mayo, and Pedersen makes him pay for that catch. Look at the career stats, 113 tackles now in the career of Marcus Pedersen. Just an absolute monster. Has strong safety, Slaughter is pressured and sacked. And that was Zane Williams. A top 10 linebacker prospect for the EFL in the next couple years here. Here's Michael Hines. Final play of the first half, and he's just going to take off. Gets pushed out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. JU on top, 35-7 to as we enter halftime. The Discord Pick'em had JU winning this one on the landslide, 19 votes to 2. And it's looking like you guys had a pretty good vote on that one. Roughing the pass with call on freshman defensive end Parker Palmer, a five-star talent, making a mistake here. He does have two sacks on the season and a forced fumble. Third down and seven. High snap for Slaughter again. He's pressured immediately, throws it deep, and it's caught by Bullocks in front of Allen Davidson. Not often do you see him give up a big pass play like that. Third down and eight. Slaughter. Hit as he throws, deep shot to the end zone, incomplete. Malik Bean on the deflection, his fourth of the season. The Golden Lions attempt the field goal, that kick is up and it is true. 10 play, 50 yard drive, results in a field goal. Dolphins looking to answer right back. Hines takes off again and in the open field, still going. Slides down around the 39 yard line. Another 20 plus yard run in the career of Michael Hines. And he goes quick pass left side, highlight, breaks a tackle. Highlights, still up, fighting, picks up eight yards. Nice hard run after the catch. 
And Mr. Highlight, who now has 20 catches on the season. He's got six here today. And Hines right side, Jukes McGee. A lot of traffic on that side of the field, but he completes it to the halfback. And that is McGee's fifth catch of the season. Here's Hines looking to throw again. Throws it up. Highlight in the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. Oh, my goodness. Four touchdown passes today for Michael Hines. That gives him 12 on the season. Michael Jackson fumbles the football. Marcus Pedersen hit him, and he recovered it himself. Oh, my goodness. His first forced fumble and fumble recovery of the season comes on one play. Michael Jackson absolutely demolished. Hines to throw again. Deep shot. Triple coverage. Mike. Oh, my goodness. Michael Hines to Mr. Highlight again. 19-yard touchdown pass. The fifth of the ball game for Michael Hines. He's absolutely torching the secondary as this pass is picked off by Zane Williams up to the 35-yard line. Williams gets his first interception of the season, sixth of his career, as his head coach gets a nice hug on the sideline. And just not a good throw. Two defenders against one receiver. Third down and ten, high snap for Hines. And he's going to roll around right side, throws it up to highlight again, and he's got another touchdown catch. Six touchdown passes today for Michael Hines. And I'm pretty sure every single one of them is to Mr. Highlight, if I'm not mistaken. This game is blown wide open, 56 to 10. High snap for Fafita, the back of quarterback now in the ball game. He is sacked again. That's the third or fourth sack given up by this offensive line today. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. So down in 13, Fafita. The throw left side, and he hits his man, but he is out of bounds. Allen Davidson on coverage. And we're going to see Nolan Connor, the freshman quarterback, now in there. McGee gets the first down carry. And they're going to keep giving it off to Jukes McGee in the open field. Still going inside the 30-yard line, just trying to run this clock out. Six carries, 60 yards today for McGee. Connor, pressure. Connor is sacked. Nobody got open on that play. And they sent the blitz, so not a lot of space for Connor to get through there. Hines going to take off. Hines has the first down and more inside the 10-yard line, down to the 5 as he fills in on a third down situation for Connor. Connor looking to throw. He's pressured immediately. He just tries to take off with it and does down to the 5-yard line. That was another third down play. And we're going to see Quasi Sands. Top of the field goal kick is up and good. He is now 6 of 6 on the season. Still perfect. Fine bluff. Looking to get some points. Here is Jackson. I don't think that's Michael Jackson. This is a receiver up to the 33-yard line. Biggest play of the day for Pine Bluff. First and 10 from the 31-yard line. Shaq is going to be dropped for a big loss. Parker Palmer gets his 10th tackle for a loss this season. Fafita, pressure. Goes over the middle. Almost picked off by Walters. Fourth down and 10. There's the players of the game. Highlight, nine catches, 190 yards, six touchdowns. Goodness gracious. Fourth down and 10. Fafita. Deep shot. Over the middle. Deflected away. It's intercepted. Malik Bean's got his second today. And he's still going. What a game for the Jacksonville Dolphins. The defense came to play. Uh, Michael Hines is basically perfect here today. One pick. But six touchdowns. And here is Jukes McGee just trying to run this clock out. He gets into the open field. Look out. McGee inside Pine Bluff territory. And that is going to do it, folks. Trying to hear the crowd. You can't hear a pin drop. In, or you could hear a pin drop in here, rather. 59-10 to 10 is the final. Marvin Joseph and the Jacksonville Dolphins come in here and get a statement win against an SEC opponent who is definitely building for the future. A lot of young talent on this Pine Bluff team. But they're just not ready to compete all the way yet. There may be a quarterback and some offensive linemen away. And some secondary. That secondary was getting absolutely shredded today. Only 236 passing yards today. 448 total for JU. Hines was sacked four times, but he had six touchdown passes. All of them to Mr. Highlight, who now has 10 touchdown receptions on the season in five games. It's insane when you can average two touchdowns per game catching the football. Hines now with 14 touchdown passes this season, 7 picks, 36 touchdowns for his career now, over 3,000 passing yards, 
just an absolute monster. We're going to look to see him in the Heisman talks probably next season. If he can clean up some turnover issues. He's got two fumbles on the season as well. If he can clean up the turnover issues that he has, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to be a top 10 pick. Because he's such an athlete. He's just so quick. And with a flick of a wrist, he could throw it 60 yards downfield. There's highlight. Nine catches, 190 yards, six touchdowns. 52 was his long today. 71 yards after catch. No drops. Christian Hart had a drop today. That's his second of the season. He had zero last year. Highlight also had a pancake today. Devin Rambo, the freshman linebacker, led the team in tackles with seven. He now has 20 on the season. And he is nine behind the team leader, Zane Williams, who has 29 tackles now. Ogletree, two tackles for a loss today. And it was Frank Frazier that had the sack earlier, so that was the second of the season. Zane Williams had a sack as well. He has four this year. 11 for his career. Zane Williams, just an all-around great linebacker. He can blitz. You know, he can fill the gaps on run plays. He can drop back in coverage. He, he does it all for this team. If the Dolphins can get another linebacker, subscriber player, and a cornerback, this I think it'll be the only team that has a complete side of the football with subscriber players. And that would just be nasty because I'm pretty sure they're just a cornerback away from having a top five defense. 10 kickoffs today for Dalton Hayes, three touchbacks. He had one punt for 51 yards. Quasi Sands remains perfect on the season for field goals and extra points, which is huge because we've seen some of our kickers miss extra points and just short field goals, and it's been sad. Seven total touchdowns for Michael Hines today. He's got six touchdown runs on the season. 20 total touchdowns this year. The next Dolphins football game, they will be hosting the Jackson State Tigers in week number eight. That'll be a home game. And our next game, which will be out tomorrow, Northern Colorado travels to Eastern Washington to take on the 2-2 two two Eagles. I'll see you guys for that one at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, take it easy, guys.